Brookings, and my name is Brookings, and today I am bringing the Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough part 18 to be exact. In the last episode, we explored Route 123, we explored a whole bunch of places, we captured a few Pokemon, Hump they evolved into a mighty mighty Camerupt, and we got ourselves a free cast storm, and we took over the Weather Institute because, well, we had to because Team Aqua was taking it over, and we're just like, hell no! This ain't happening right now. We're gonna take care of this for a team, for the Weather Institute team. So uh, we did that, and uh, yeah, and we arrived in Fortree City. So I read somewhere online because I, I have to keep track of these. There's actually a Mega Stone in the Berry uh, Garden. So let's let's go check that out real quick. Hey, I found a Pokeball over here, which is a, a PP Max, not the. Not the uh, Mega Stone. But I also found a Tropius. Let's go get this fucker over here. Let's let's go get him real so real slow. We're all about that real quick. Ah, there we go. I was like, wh where are we going at? Like, where the hell are we going to? But right there's Tropius. And I gotta say, this Pokemon's actually quite quite rare. So uh, let's not try and kill it. Let's go for a Grass Plant. Let's just be on the safe side here, just because well. This is actually quite a rare Pokemon, so I, I can't I really want to capture him just because it's it's super rare in this area. Same with Absol. That's a Pokemon I haven't even heard it is an Absol. Like I haven't even heard the sound of an Absol. I've only heard uh Tropies. Oh, that was actually that was actually a bit too scary right there. Let's go for a Ultra Ball, I guess, because we don't have any great balls. And just like that, we call ourselves a Tropius. So uh yeah, I was gonna say Mega Tropius right there, but uh it's not really Megan. HM is 38, so uh, HM, you need to calm down here. You're you're higher level than freaking uh, Hump Day here. But just like that, we got ourselves a Tropius, and uh, yeah, look at that. No, I don't really have a nickname for you besides Banana Lover, but that doesn't fit, so uh, yeah, I don't even know how to spell banana properly. Look at that. Tropius right there. My lord, was that a waste of time? I just... I went all the way back there, I'm looking around, I go and look more research, no, it's after game for that. So, I'm sorry for wasting your time, you guys' time. Do not follow what I just did there, I'm sorry if I, if you did, but honestly, I thought, it, it should have said it on the page, because I, I have a whole page of, of uh, Mega Stones, like, where to get them and stuff. Just because I really want to collect all of them, because we just got so much in this game. No, but the, the fucking page doesn't tell you it's after game, so I had to go do more research. Anyway, let's go explore Fortree City. Man, oh man, like, honestly, I love this city. Just because in Ruby and Sapphire and Emerald, this city honestly looked amazing. And now in 3D, it's going to look even more cool. So let's, before we can go anywhere here, I need to buy a few hyper potions and stuff like that. We got, look, we got 87 grand right here. I'm going to buy, I'm going to buy around 30 of these bad boys. Yeah, that's, that's good. Um, now... Ooh. Ooh, some super pels? No. Uh, I need to buy... We And bag, we've got seven of these motherfuckers. Oh, we need to buy a shit ton of these. Um, let's buy... Let's buy... Oof. Let's buy ten grand of these. Yeah, ten. So that's, that's twenty. Okay, that's not bad. Okay. Now, we gotta buy some ultra balls as well. It's because we barely have any... Um, let's not buy too many. We've got 16, so... 15 of these. There we go. There we go. That, that's good. That's good enough right now. That's good for right now. There we go. We bought all that. But yeah, like I said, in the original games, I love Fortress City because of the music and two because of the scenery. In this game... Oh, he still talks about Link trades and stuff like that. Man, I, I remember those days where you had to like have this cable to this able to trade and stuff like that. Those are the good old days. Those are literally the old good old days. But sometimes bug people can go. <laughs> oh, that's honestly funny. I'm sorry my laugh is kind of weak right now. It's because I'm actually starting to get sick. So uh, yeah, I'm sorry about that. Well, hold up. What are you talking about? Po Pokemon people have adapted that nature to survive. There's no need to make nature confirm to the way we want to live that's actually true but i don't know i just feel like if we do li oh he stares for my base not bad but i feel like if we did live like this in society um we would get sick a lot easier just because it's so dirty and um yeah and number two it'd be really expensive to have stuff like this in our in our society today 
it'd be a really neat way to live, but it would just be really, ex it would be really expensive. That's the only thing I'm thinking right now. It's, it's gonna be really expensive, man. It's gonna be absolutely expensive as hell. Hey, Arun! Yo, Jake! I knew we'd meet again! What? You don't know who where you are? This is the secret base guide, of course. Who? Uh, what do you mean you never asked? Oh no, you don't know that you should be shy, my boy. The secret base guide is here to fully support everyone so they can have a secret base life full of adventure. We can give you the hints on how to enjoy your base and items you can't get anywhere else. And best of all, coming here means that you can always meet me anytime you want. Man, isn't that great? You know, Jake, that reminds me. You still haven't made yourself a team, have you? So, a, see, a team is made of up like the pals that hang out in your base with you. I guess you could call this call them friends, but doesn't team sound cooler? When you meet people in your other base, you can ask them to join your team. Nothing while playing all alone, of course, but having some pals around sure can uh, live, in th live in things up in your base. If you haven't tried it yet, I think you ought to give it a shot before you write it off. Oh yeah, you've been collecting flags, little plow. There's a secret base where you assign ranks to all the teams based on how many flags they manage to get. The more secret base you find and the more flags you snack, the higher you and your team will end up ranking. Huh, you wanna know how why do we do that? Ain't it obvious? It's more fun that way. A bit of rivalry gets everybody fired up, and that doesn't seem a full adventure to be on the edge of the hunt for more flags. The higher your rank gets, the richer your base of life will become, you'll see. So you go out there and be fine with flags and then bring them here to show me. So let me give you give you a gift, my fellow baseman Faniac, for coming so far to see me. And it's like, yeah, you get, you get the Brooklyn name. What the fuck is this? Oh my lord, it's too much. Did you just say swag? Did this guy just seriously say swag? No, that's... Let's have a battle. Hell yes! Single battle. Okay, yes, that sounds good. The only reason I'm on a battle is because I know he's got a flag on. And yeah, look at that. So we're battling a rune right here. That's actually pretty cool. I've actually always wanted to battle him just because I want to see how powerful he is. 23. You have a level 23 Flygon. How is that even possible? <laughs> what? How? That's not possible. How do you have a level 23 Flygon? Get your ass wrecked. You're on the real quick right here. Like seriously, I thought your Flygon was like level 45. What the hell? I give okay yeah if we got oh we got a lot of pokies for that seriously that's a lot right there yes let's do it sometime again let's see let's see what's going on over here okay let's see you got hmm I'll buy this this is pretty cool actually I'll buy that um yeah no let's buy the pokeball that so that way we've got the pokeball set right here. Um, no, okay, we're good for right there. Let's see over here, though. Yeah, let's see. Let's see what you got here. Um. Nah. Let's get a, let's get a bed going here. I, I don't know. So the reason why I'm buying so many of this stuff is because the base that I want, that, that where I'm going to put it, is actually coming up in a few episodes here. Yes, I do like the black belt. Oh, I thought you gave this to us. So that's why I'm buying all this stuff for right now, because the base that where I'm gonna put my base is actually coming up in a few episodes. If not, it'll be the next. It would actually be episode 19, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. While I'll be putting on my secret base, so uh, that's why I'm buying all these secret items right now, or these base items right now, is because the next episode or so I'll be setting up our secret base. So uh, yeah, that's gonna be pretty exciting, isn't it? Let's see this lady over here. The ground absorbs rain. Oh, okay, well that's. That's pretty cool, ain't it? You- Oh, it's Steven Stone! Hmm... Looks as though that the Pokemon can be found on Route 120. Hmm... What are you talking about? What kind of Pokemon is found on Route 120? I wanna go to the Fortree Gym, but something's blocking the way. After all the bother, I went through training my Pokemon on Route 120. Well, isn't that a shame? You can't go to the gym because something's blocking the gym. This guy always pissed me off. Look what he says. Um, you, uh, smell singed. Where are you, at a volcano or something? No, we're at the fucking pottery barn or something like that. I don't even know. Like, he, I don't know. He just always pissed me off because... Just because we don't smell like him, he's gonna judge us. There you go, bird Pokemon. Just like that. That Pico, that freaking Wingle over there, runs an errand for that guy. Like, why can't we deal with our Pokemon? But they're getting, 
Then again, people are gonna be like, no, that's cruel, Jake. You can't be. You can't. Oh my lord, why? Why am I going down the stairs? Get up there, man. Get up there. Get your ass up on the treehouse. There we go. Over here, though, if you. Oh! Oh! Yes! What the hell is happening over here? Invisible obstacle. Ob what the hell? There's no obstacle in my way. Okay, well, we'll get that TM over there in a second once we get rid of that obstacle in our way. Whatever that may be. You there. What do you. People with Pokemon. Oh. Ooh. I held the coin in my hand. Now tell me which hand holds the coin. The right or the left? The right hand. You're correct. Let's try again. The left hand. What? No, 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 no. So it's, it's gonna be right. You're correct. The right. It's gonna be left. Yes! We got TM10 hidden power from that. I can't, I know I kind of cheated right there, but still. I, I need, I need this item. Ooh, ooh, okay. Let's see what kind of hidden power Sage is gonna have. That, that doesn't help. What, actually, that's actually pretty good. That's good against fire types. So your hidden power is actually really good, man. So I'm really happy about that, Sage. I'll check out the rest of the squad's uh, hidden power later on in the game. You there, what is in this house over here? Let's, let's check this out. Ooh, a puzzle. Um, I do miss Splenda, but I'm not training it for your skitty, that's for sure. Just because we're yeah, your skitty is useless. If it was like a rare Pokemon, I definitely would have done that, but I'm not going to do that. So let's go to round 120, where uh, Steven Stone told us to go. Well, he just told us that's where you can catch a Pokemon. So I'm assuming if they go over there. So let's go, let's go over there. Let's go over there really quick and see what Steven Stone has to offer us for over here. Route 120. Look at all these Pokemon we can catch over here, man. That's a shit ton of Pokemon. Oh my lord. Why am I carrying this parasol? If I tell you they win against me. Okay. I don't really want to know why you're carrying a parasol, so it doesn't really matter to me. But parasol lady Clarissa. Oh a goldeen. You got a goldeen. Why do you have a goldeen? This late in the game. Like seriously, you got oh I guess level 31. So yeah. It kinda makes up for that gap right here. Just cause you got a goldeen this late in the game. Like seriously. <laughs> Something's really wrong right over here. Anyway, Golding gets wrecked. Let me get that 424 experience right there. Level 37. Not bad. Not bad. At all. Oh, Seeking. What the hell? I do not remember this lady having a Seeking and a Golding. Like, I would have remembered this if, if she had all these Pokemon back in the day. Like, seriously. My lord, why? Why do you got all these Pokemon right here, man? Like, why? Why, why, why? Oh, there's some, like, stuff going on over there. You hear some rappers in the background? That's because I'm eating some chocolate right here. Chocolate's pretty good, eh? Chocolate's really good. Alrighty, um... Mm. Oh, yeah, over here... Oh, that's... We already have that Pokemon, though, so I'm not gonna bother that. But over here, if you use Cut, I believe there's a trainer back here you battle, and you get yourselves an item as well. So let's go do this right here. Um, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, well, there's nothing back here. No, wait, wait. There is gonna be something back here. Just hold your horses. Don't hold those damn horses over here. Right here. What the fuck? There is something here. I know that. What? Okay, this is retarded. I hate how the item finder works in this game. Look at that. It takes like six times to get this. But right there's a rare candy. And we got ourselves a rare candy. I believe that's our first rare candy, actually, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, I believe that's our very, very first rare candy. So uh, that's pretty good, actually. That's really good, actually. Um. Oh, what is this? Where is this at? Where is this gloom at? You know, I'm gonna put a- I'm gonna put a repel on. Just cause I really want this gloom. We got 27 of these motherfuckers, look at that. That's- that's, that's magnificent right there. Hey! Just like that gloom was caught. It was actually pretty hard catching this gloom because, well... I don't- I like, yeah, it took a while to get over here just cause... It told me to walk slower, so I'm like, okay, I don't wanna mess this up cause we don't have a gloom just yet. And it took us quite a while to get this, a weed Pokemon. Okay, well that's... 
That's wonderful, a weed Pokemon. Like, who wants who wants dirty weeds on their lawn and shit? Um, but there we go. We call this, we call this was Gloom. And, uh, yeah, so... Um... Ooh, what is this? This is pretty rare, actually. So, just as we were speaking about how rare Absol is, well, if you, like, a last episode, I believe, we got ourselves Absol. So, this is one of the Pokemon that are actually, that's actually really, really rare on these routes. Is this Absol over here? So, aw, uh, fuck, no! No! Seriously, you cannot resist a Grass Pledge? How are you that weak? Ah! I'm so disappointed right now. Like, honestly, you don't know how disappointed I am with this. We already have a fucking cat crown, so I'm, I'm pissed off now. I'm really pissed off now, because, well, we could have had a Abzal, which is pretty rare, apparently. But no, I had to go kill it. Next time I was, thirking, I was freaking throw Alt Balls at it and Paralyzer or something. Like, seriously, I did not know Abzal was that weak. Like, seriously, what is wrong with you, man? What is wrong with you? And apparently Swablu is really buff. I, I did not know this until now. Like, seriously, I thought Swablu was pretty weak. But I guess, no, it, it's Absol's the weak one and Swablu's the really buff one here. Like, what happened? Like, what? What happened here? Like, seriously, like, honestly, I, I need, like, some call of, like, I need something, like, to refresh my mind here. Like, seriously, what, what happened here? Like, Absol died. Swablu's apparently really buff. What, what, like, this, the game doesn't make sense anymore. Like, what the hell? What is happening here, man? Anyway, let's let's switch up here into a um, Scott and Hump Day, and then Breely. Actually, why has Hump Day there? Breely must be first. There we go. Now things are sorted out properly. Um, hmm. I feel like if I go down here, it's a Pokeball over here, which is a Nest Ball. Not bad. There's also a hidden Pokemon around here, I believe. Yeah, right here. It's the invisible officer getting away. So yeah, I don't know if I I, I don't recall really these Cacleons having any special abilities or anything like that. So uh, yeah, I don't recall them having anything like that. Oh, hold up, hold up. The reason why I want to go down there is because I believe we already have that. I don't even know what that was, but we already had that. Okay, um, down here if you surf, I believe there's a cave over here we can actually go explore if I'm not mistaken. Was that only after game? Nope, there's a cave in here. I told you guys. I told you there's a cave in here. <clears throat> the scorched slab. What? What's happening down here? A TM11 sunny day over there though. But this, I do not remember there being this. What? What? What's happening here? The scorched lab. Oh my! This is spooky as hell. What? What is this? Ah, there we go. I stuck up on you like a little bastard you are. What is this? A Zubat? No, it's a Golbat. Oh, my lord. My lord is a freaking Golbat. 28. Um, Quick attack. Go. Just like, oh, ass would say. Oh. Oh, that Confuse Raid, though. That Confuse Raid, though. Okay, okay. Um, I'll go for an Ultra Ball here. That was actually really easy right there. I thought it was going to take a while to catch gold, but just because gold bet's pretty rare. But nope. It was actually pretty easy. Little 20. Oh. Okay. Oh, Leaf Tornado. Okay, I'm definitely teaching you that. I don't even know why these Pokemon are in my team right now. Like, why? Oh, yeah, it's because I only have five team members. Like, five Pokemon on me right now. That is why. But there we go. We caught ourselves a gold bat. Not too bad, actually. Little, no, number 66 on the Pokedex. Not bad. Not bad, okay, that's actually pretty good. Nope, not giving you a nickname. But what's down in this cave? I didn't remember this cave being so big. My, okay, hold up, hold up. Do we have repels on? No, we do not. Okay, so that, that's good. I need to figure out what's in this cave. Like, I feel like there's some hidden items down here and stuff. Oh, there is. I honestly, I hate, I hate these things so much. Like, is it in here somewhere? Like, oh. there we go, right here. 
Like there's an escape rope and there's like some sort of poke one over there. The scorch slab, like what is this? No, I don't oh my lord, no. Whatever. I don't really care. Um I'm just trying to figure out what's down in this cave. There's a poke over there with a full heal. I don't honestly I did not remember this cave being so big in the original games. Like I remember there being a cave down here like over here, but I did not remember it being so big. I don't care. Leave me alone. Oh my lord, just fuck off. I can see you right there. There we go, go away. Did we nearly complete? What are we missing down here? Like, what the hell? Anyway, let's go down here and see what's happening down here. Apparently a lot of... Oh my lord, look at all the stuff that's down here. Man, oh man! I thought today's episode we're going to take on the gym leader or, or stuff like that, but we're obviously not. Okay, um, let's go over here. Actually, holy shit, look at all this stuff. There's too much to do in this scorched slab. Like, honestly, there, there's literally too much stuff down here. There's too much stuff down here, man. <clears throat> I'm sorry, my voice, like, it, it's all over the place. So I'm not really sorry if that bothers you, but if I don't clear, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's, it's not gonna get, it's gonna get nasty. Okay, we've been all over there on here. Um, there we go. Oh, okay. This doesn't make sense. Hold up. Hold up real quick. I already have you, so I'm not going to bother with that. So we have to go up here. And then go. Ah, okay. But what does this do? This. We don't. I thought we had strength. What the hell? I could have sworn we have strength. Yeah, I was like, no, there's no way we don't have strength. No, I'm not teaching that to you. There's no way. Let's teach that to you. I thought we already taught HM strength. Whatever, though. Yes, strength. Um. Oh shit, we only have that's that's the last move. That's the last move we can teach HM slave over here. Strength. Hey, that's worth it. That's worth it, though. I don't know what this will do. Like, I honestly, I don't know. I don't even recall you being able to go in this cave. I don't even recall this cave being so big in this game, for crying out loud. Like, what's the point of all this? Nothing. Literally nothing. That what's down? Oh, there's no, there's another area down here. I feel like this area down here will become very, very important later on. So, uh, yeah, I feel like this is going to be really important later on in the game. This area down here, though. I don't know what it's for, but there we go. Let's get all these hidden items, though. Oh, my lord. This thing's pissing me off to the max. And I swear to God, this thing... You know what? Fuck that. I legit... I Yeah, I'm done. I'm not going to even try anymore. This because this... I hate the item finding in this game. Like, it, it, it looks cool and stuff. And I know that they're, they're, like, trying to do their best here, but... In my opinion, it just looks... Uh, we... No, that's... No, fuck that. I'm not gonna get another gold bat. Or whatever the fuck that was. I believe it was a gold bat. But look at that. There's two... There's two gold bats in here. And a zoo bat. And yeah. Like... I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm pretty sure we already got a gold bat. That doesn't count as two gold bats, though. Like, it only counts as one, though. Like... What is wrong here? Oh. what? There's mail here. Let's see. 28 mail. Yes. By 20, okay, I did not, re I did not believe we passed by 28 people, but apparently our secret bases were updated, so, uh, yeah, but don't worry, the secret base, has a Cacleon, so I'm not gonna go get that, uh, my super secret base should be built in the next few episodes or so, but let's go talk to Steven Stone over here, hmm, Jake, so we meet again, how has it been, have you been using the Mega Bracelet wisely? I suppose I needed, I needed, what the hell, I needn't even ask, though. No one comes to you and your team. I wonder, have you noticed? Hmm. There's something here you can't see. Now, if I were to use this device on the invisible obstacle. No, no, rather than describing it, I should just show you how. I should just show you, that's what be, that should be more inter entertaining. Jake, are you and your Pokemon ready for battle? They sure are, but yes, let's go! Yes, it'll fit me, okay. What what are, what are you giving me, though? That's the, that's the question right here. Holy shit, those are some giant-ass goggles right there, man. Like, seriously, the Devon's... 
That's how the Darren scope looks. That's actually so good. Oh, I love how they look in this game. Like, honestly, that looks incredible. But there we go. This this is a Cackleon. We already have a Cackleon, so we don't really need to capture this Cackleon. You can if you want, but I don't believe it has any special abilities or anything like that. Um, we just got the exact same ability as the one I caught on, uh, the, on Route 123, I believe it is, or Route 119. So, you honestly don't really need to catch this thing. Like I said, if you want, you can go right ahead and catch it. But honest, me personally, I would just leave it. It's, there's no point in catching it besides this thing. The only reason I would catch it is if I want to use it on my team and because it's level 30. So, it's not that it's not that behind levels. So, yeah. Jake, just as, just as I expected. Let's call it a Devon Scope. It's a fantastic piece of tech that lets you see Pokemon in hiding. You should have a gift from me. Take it. Just like that, Steven Sony's so generous, he gives you that free Devon Scope. A machine- Oh! He gives us a Sceptolite! Oh! Yes! That's- Oh, thank you so much, Steven. I just want to give you a giant hug right now. Stone for a moment in your bag. I'm sure I sense the power of some kind of stone. A meteorite? No, it couldn't be. Let's meet again someday. What? I don't think a meteorite- Oh, yeah, I do have a meteorite in my bag. Forgot about that. I forgot about that meteorite. Oh my lord, no. No, I forgot we're not supposed to go over here just yet. This is for later on, man. This is Okay, yeah, whatever though. We'll we'll bro battle bird keeper Colin. We'll show Colin that my swallow is better than his swallow. Who do you think swallow's better here? My I'm pretty sure mine's better though. Let's level 32. Mm. Let's go for arrows right here. Unless you've got like sky attack or some shit like that. I believe you actually do though. No, you just got arrow lace. I thought you had sky attack. Because I remember having trouble against this, this bird keeper in particular in my, um, uh, when I first played Pokemon Ruby and, uh, well, then again, I kind of can see how I had trouble against him because, well, back then, I had no clue, uh, what was weak against what, so I was kind of using moves all over the place, so, uh, yeah. No, it's Zatu I had trouble against. It wasn't the, um, it wasn't, uh, Swallow, it was Zatu I had trouble against. Because I believe Zatu's got, like, going a sky attack. No, it's got air slash, that's why. He's got freaking Air Slash, and I think I kept sending out Blaziken, I'm like, yeah, man, Blaziken is like the best Pokemon, like, he was the best Pokemon at the time, because that's the only Pokemon I had on my team, like, I used that thing for everything, and I was honestly got my ass handed to me by that Zatu over there. Yes, I did soar above you, because, well, I have a Swallow, and my Swallow is way more high level than yours, so, uh, yeah, get wrecked, son, get wrecked! Nope, I'm not gonna go capture myself a damn Cackleon, because we already have a freaking Cackleon, so no need for that. No need for that, so yeah. Now, I did think we're gonna go battle the gym today, but it's actually... Be I think we've done a lot today, like, honestly, we've done quite a lot today. Even though then when we did not get that Abomino Snow, Abomino Snow Knight, because that's what we're supposed to get uh, on Route 123. But I believe that's after game, so uh, yeah, well, at least I read it was after game. Anyway, I know we didn't get much done today, so we're actually gonna go. We're gonna finish off the episode with a uh, wanna trade, just because we didn't get much done today. But uh, it's it's been a pretty productive episode, and it's not been a pr productive episode. So let's go for wanna trade right here. Yes, let's go for that. Actually, I believe there's an update. I don't think I can wanna trade. Actually, I, I think there's an update for this. Yeah. So I guess we won't be um wanna trade this episode. I'll definitely be downloading the up software update next episode. And we'll definitely be, we'll definitely be, uh, one of trading first thing next, next episode. So, yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. As always, thank you for watching, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. But, uh, yeah, usually this, leave a like, it really helps me out, it really helps the series out, and really, it really shows me guys that you guys are enjoying the series, and that you guys want more episodes. So, yeah, until next time, peace out, see you guys then. And as always, thank you for watching. See you guys then, peace out.